hello everyone welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are going to make a cyclone from steel image using flow map in blender so let's get start in this tutorial we are going to use the same node setup that i have shown in the procedural flow map tutorial so if you haven't seen that tutorial please watch that where i have shown that how to make a procedural flow map with geometry nodes and animation nodes in blender so download uh, this project files to follow this uh, tutorial so this is the project file so here is the flow map uh, for this uh, river so we going to use same node setup for the cyclone so we don't need this image as well as uh, these curves so let's delete these okay let's add the image plane so this is the image plane uh, for the cyclone so in this case we can see that this cyclone uh, is slightly elliptical due to the perspective uh, effect of camera so to get rid of this we have to reproject this image on a, onto a sphere so let's add a sphere okay we have this sphere and then we are going to add two level of subdivisions to this okay now we have to scale this sphere to match uh, the curvature of this earth let's first shift the region of this sphere at the surface okay so then press shift s cursor to select it then change the region to the region to 3d sphere now we have this region at the surface then move this sphere and roughly at the edge of this earth and then scale this sphere and we are going to match on uh, this sphere at the earth size so it is roughly matching in the curvature of the earth and now we have to create a UV map to project on uh, this image onto sphere so let's add a UV map tab let's add the same image planes material to this uh, sphere and now we can see this select the image and then we are going to project this as project from view so now we have these uv maps and then we are going to scale this uv map to similarly to match the curvature of the earth let's first add the uh, 2d cursor here roughly near to this curvature and then i'm going to move these uv maps something like this and then we're going to change this pivot to 2d cursor now we can easily scale these uvs Maybe slightly rotate these. So now, if we go to this view, we can see that we have circular cyclone. So now, let's delete the unwanted mesh of this sphere and then delete that so now we have uh, this projected uh, image on a sphere and let's add another uh, subdivision another two level of subdivision to this sphere yeah this is fine okay so now we have our image plane and let's also hide uh, the original 
image plane well, let's call this as projected image now we are going to select this mesh as our this projected image for the curve object I am going to add a bezier circle I am going to roughly align with uh, the normal of this surface and then scale to roughly align with the uh, this the size of these clouds okay select this on uh, this circle as well now I am going to add the UV maps as we need for the flow map so let's rename this as base and then we need two UV maps UV1 and uh, UV2 and last is a mask even in this case we don't need a mask UV map but I am going to keep the same structure as we used in the procedural flow map so let's add the geometry nodes a modifier and then select the flow map setup and here we going to first make this river depth to zero and then offset factor is around 0.1 or 1.5 and speed for this is 0.15 as well and also select this uh, curve here okay okay now we have set up uh, the node uh, this geometry nodes and animation nodes uh, for this projected image now we're going to add uh, make a material for this so let's add the basic flow map material so in this case we don't uh, need these bump maps also this mask and these noise textures in this case we going to add the image texture and I'm going to put this image texture in a group so that we can use this for multiple times so let's add our image here I'm going to rename this as texture connect this to this texture connect this to this and then connect this to this and I am going to also change this principle to uh, emission shader okay now if we view this uh, it is rotating but in the wrong direction so let's switch that direction by changing the switch direction of this car so perfect let's also uh, align on the camera for this it looks nice let's adjust some of the settings first i think uh, I'm going to adjust the offset here. Any point five is fine because in the center the cloud should move faster as compared to the outer edge of uh, this cyclone. In the cycle render engine, you can also use uh, the principal shader with some displacement and use adaptive subdivision to enhance uh, the effect of these clouds so this is it for this tutorial so if you like this work then please uh, do support me on my patreon page and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy nodding bye